Late today, word of a mysterious death, an apparent suicide by a powerful athlete, a force of nature on the football field. NFL great Junior Seau, 43 years old, dead of a gunshot wound to the chest. His mother in shock tonight. And his football colleagues are asking, is this somehow another example of that legacy of the punishment players take on the field? Here's ABC's David Wright. Houston at the During a 20-year career, Junior Seo took countless brutal hits, one of the best linebackers of his generation. But today, a grim footnote to that Hall of Fame career, Seo's girlfriend found him in a pool of blood in his San Diego home apparently shot in the chest. Mr. Seau has deceased. This case at this point is being investigated as a suicide. A handgun was found near the body. Seau's mother understandably destroyed. And I pray to God, take me, take me, leave my son alone. Too early to tell why Seo may have taken his own life, but an alarming number of retired NFL players have committed suicide. Four others in a little more than a year, including former Chicago Bears safety Dave Dewerson. All of them showed signs of head trauma. In fact, Dewerson also shot himself in the chest, asking in his suicide note that his brain be studied. We think in some instances that head trauma uh, could be related to depression, and depression at times uh, can be a cause of suicide, but we just don't know. The science of traumatic brain injury is still in its early stages. The NFL has compared notes with the Army. There's some who say um, that the lag time between the, the damage that is done uh, goes anywhere from 40 to 60 years. Studies have shown that high school football players are also at risk. Two million brain injuries a year among teenage players, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Junior Seo often advised young players not to despair over obstacles in life or football. I want to say to you guys to stick it out and to know that there's going to be a time when football's going to end. Advice that he apparently couldn't keep. Now, his career stats list more than 1,500 tackles, also dozens of injuries, but officially, officially at least not a single concussion, which is kind of hard to believe. But the NFL is focused on this issue as never before, in part because of some high-profile player lawsuits taking steps on and off the field to try to keep players safer, Diane.